2023 is shaping up to be an incredible year in gaming, friends, and it's only month two, so <laughs> I definitely can't wait to see what's next in store for gaming in general, especially cozy gaming, but in the meantime, here are 10 upcoming Switch releases that I cannot wait for, and I think you're gonna want to check out as well. Blanc, coming out on February 14th, is described as an artistic cooperative adventure and it's about an emotional and heartfelt journey of a wolf cub and a fawn. They both find themselves lost in a snow-covered wilderness after experiencing a snowstorm that separated them from their families. So they have to rely on each other and work together with a goal to hopefully be reunited with their loved ones. The entire game is in black and white and it actually was entirely hand-drawn on paper before it was given the 3D treatment into this game. So I think it will give a really different and memorable experience that stands out from the rest of the cozy games that we play. There's also no dialogue in this so the player can fully immerse themselves into the story and world. I can tell this is going to be a great one but also maybe make us shed a tear or two. Bayonetta Origins, Cereza and the Lost Demon is coming out on March 17th and this is a name that you're probably going to be familiar with if you're a fan of Nintendo or the Switch in general. Bayonetta 3 made a huge splash when it came out later in 2022. For the first time ever, we'll get a peek of her story before she became the badass witch that she is today. Before Bayonetta, she was a young witch named Cereza and in this game we adventure into the Forbidden Forest, Avalon, along with Cheshire, her very first demon companion, to try and find the power that could save her mother. The art style and character design along with the narrated storytelling is very reminiscent of a hand-painted storybook, and I just think it's so beautiful and captivating and of course also very cozy. Probably my favorite Atelier girl, Riza, is coming back with her third and final adventure Adventure in Atelier Rise of 3, Alchemist of the End, and The Secret Key. This game will reunite you with all your favorite characters from the previous games and be able to mix and match your party for an unforgettable journey. As they're living their lives on Kirken Island, they suddenly learned about a bunch of other islands popping about, so they have to solve the mystery behind why this is happening and also the roots of alchemy. Atelier games to me are some of the coziest RPGs out there. I think with the world, characters, story, and gameplay, I do also really like magic themes in games, so the gathering ingredients and crafting potions being a key part of Atelier games is something I really do enjoy. Not just for cozy gamers, but also coffee lovers. One of the first games I probably talked about when it comes to cozy gaming on my channel is a little indie game that indie fans love called Coffee Talk. And now they're back with Coffee Talk Episode 2, Hibiscus and Butterfly coming out on April 20th. Live your barista dreams as you brew the perfect cups of coffee and other bevies that your customers order and engage in different heartwarming conversations. In this game, you'll encounter many different fantasy characters, but see them in a very human light. Learning about their stories, any problems they may be going through, and giving them a space in your coffee shop where they can just simply be. Cue the nostalgia overload with this one because a classic farming sim that's beloved by many and a childhood favorite from the GameCube days is coming back with a story of seasons, It's a Wonderful Life, on June 27th. I'm so happy to see this title get the Switch treatment and be able to revisit the characters and the peaceful town of Forgotten Valley. I actually don't remember too much about this title because I really spent most of my time playing on handheld Story of Seasons games, but in this one you have to carry on your father's legacy, living the dream farm life, growing crops and raising animals. Finding a romantic partner and raising a family together is also a huge part of this game, and in this version you'll see your kid growing up and eventually working together with you or maybe choosing a different career path. I guess we'll just have to see how that all plays out. <laughs> There's also fishing, hunting for treasures, cooking, 
various festivals and events, and so much more additions from the original game. No doubt this will become a farming staple this year, even along with the others on its way. And speaking of farming staples, Rune Factory 3 Special is also coming out this year. I know it comes out in Japan on March 2nd, but it says sometime in spring 2023 for the rest of us. I've never played Rune Factory 3 on the DS, so I am excited to jump into this with all new 3D visuals when it comes to the Switch. If you've played Rune Factory 4 Special, then it will feel very familiar in terms of graphics and gameplay. And like every other Rune Factory, it is like a fantasy story of seasons with all of the farming goodness that we know and love, but also with a lot of adventuring. In this game as Micah, who finds himself in an unknown town with, <laughs> surprise, surprise, amnesia and a mysterious ability to transform into a sheep-like monster. You have to find a way for humans and monsters to coexist in this world and there will be a lot of exciting events that happen in between, I'm sure. Exceed is really on a roll for 2023 because besides the last two games I'm already really really excited for, they also had my jaw dropped from the last Nintendo Direct where they announced Fashion Dreamer coming out on September 6th. I think I can speak for many of us when I say we've all been waiting for Style Savvy to finally come to the Switch, but it looks like we got something even better. Finally, we can realize our dreams and become the ultimate fashion influencer in this game. For anyone who's into customizing characters like I am, dressing them up, accessorizing, changing up your hair, and so on, this game is pretty much all about that. But as a rising influencer, you also have to build a brand and befriend different muses around the globe. With over 1400 collectible items, you're sure to put together a character that's uniquely yours, and I'm hoping some kind of expansion DLC or future collaborations with other franchises will bring even more content to Fashion Dreamer. It is a shame that Fay Farm was delayed as we were originally anticipating it for spring 2023, but they've said quarter two. We don't have an exact date yet, but this is a game that I'll definitely be keeping an eye out on, and as soon as I have any updates, I'll be sure to let you know. <laughs> I think this will be a really fun one to add to our cozy gaming list. Fae Farm is a farming sim RPG and you can play single player or up to three other friends online or locally and you have to cultivate a magical farm on the enchanted island of Azoria. Along the way, you'll meet new friends and unravel their different stories. You'll also be battling enemies, discover different realms, and at the end of your long day, come home to a cozy home that you can customize to be your very own. This actually reminded me a lot of the next game we're talking about when I saw the initial trailers down to the co-op adventuring, but with a more Fae-centered look and story. We don't know a whole lot about this next game besides that if you've seen any of my videos about the 3DS or just my favorite games I've played on Nintendo handhelds in general, then you'll probably know about Fantasy Life. Level 5 is back in the West, and along with them is Fantasy Life I, the girl who steals time. Fantasy Life is an action RPG in a vast open world with lots of good, funny, quirky writing and lovable characters. And in the Switch title, you start off on an island in ruins and an adventure between past and present. I'm sure it'll have us rebuilding this town, there will be lots of fun quests to take on, and also my favorite part in the 3DS game is all the jobs that you can learn. I'm really excited to hear more about this game, and you can be sure that we'll be playing it on the channel when it finally comes out. Even though we do have an official release date for this game already in a little bit earlier in 2023, I did want to save the best for last, of course, and I mean, I think you've probably already written down the date on your calendar for this game, but Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom is finally coming out on May 12th of 2023. Breath of the Wild is probably one of the most memorable and meaningful games on the Switch for me. Besides it being one of the first games I've ever played on the Switch, it just, no pun intended, it really took my breath away. I wish I could put into words why I love Breath of the Wild so, so much, but I will just summarize it with chef kiss. <laughs>
We've been long awaiting for the sequel and finally Tears of the Kingdom is coming out in three months. <laughs> we don't know a whole lot about the story which I don't really mind to be honest. It's one of those games that I want to learn about and explore all on my own. I think that's the beauty of Breath of the Wild as well, is the exploration, and if it's one that has to follow the likes of the first game, I just know it will be just as breathtaking, with beautiful, vast, and open landscapes to explore, cool new abilities for Link, challenging but fun puzzles, and even more challenging beasts to slay. <laughs> I mean, you can tell by my reaction during the Nintendo Direct. Zelda, Tears of the Kingdom, It is, isn't it? It is, it is, it is. <laughs> I can't wait to dive back into this world, like truly top tier. Oh, wow. Cannot wait. May 12, May 12, exactly a week before my birthday and I accept that as a birthday gift. Thank you so much. <laughs> How excited am I and cannot wait for this three months to fly by. And with that, as we await this very exciting and momentous <laughs> Nintendo Switch release, I'm so happy to share that I'm working with Nintendo of Canada to put together a Legend of Zelda prize pack for one very lucky winner. This amazing pack will include a Nintendo Switch backpack and officially licensed Legend of Zelda goodies like a controller, a heat changing mug, which I've actually always wanted for myself, <laughs> a journal, and of course a digital code of the game Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom on launch day. All you need to do to enter is comment down below what your favorite moment was from the latest trailer of Tears of the Kingdom from the recent Nintendo Direct. What are you most looking forward to or if you've played breath of the wild feel free to share your favorite memory or favorite thing to do in that game i know for me it was definitely hunting for the koroks and solving the different shrine puzzles and actually also photographing the different items for link's compendium anything that encouraged me to explore and roam and enjoy the sights of this beautiful world was my favorite thing exploring this world is just so relaxing and I can't wait to do it again with this new title. So good luck to everyone entering. I'll also leave the details of the giveaway in the pinned comment down below. Thank you so much for watching. As always, be kind to yourselves and I will see you next time.